So Simon, we'll start off uh, talking about Ed Francis. He's been with the squad for about two weeks now. Are you already seeing signs of what he can offer? Yeah, I think so. I, I think he had a, a good start um, away at Texter when he came on, um, when we won that game. And then on last Saturday, I thought he was very accomplished on the ball. Uh, read danger well um, as a holding midfielder. And overall, he brings a good uh, presence to, to the midfield, nice and composed. Uh, he's got plenty of pedigree, you know, as we know, his background, Wolves, Chelsea, uh, England under 19. So uh, he's got a lot of potential. He's only just turned 20, uh, 21. So we think he's going to be a, a good player for us. You mentioned after the Salford game about mistakes not being about bad luck. What's the solution to that? Just continual um, striving for, for improvement in all areas. You know, it's, um, it, it's quite hard to take when you play fairly well, well pretty well last week another game where uh, even statistically you know we've 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 been we've improved over the last few weeks um you know in terms of chances created and um and preventing the opposition from uh, creating chances as well we're, we've got better uh, but it's just one mistake you know in those games that have that have cost us and, it, and the opposition have been more deadly at putting away those uh, opportunities to score We've played, been playing against some good teams, but we think none have been better than probably Exeter. Um, and I think the difference is we uh, we took our chances on that day and we still made that mistake, uh, that one error at the back, uh, but we're looking to eradicate those errors. And um, I think it's just about training training hard, keep working on the organisation and hopefully we'll progress. We're now into the festive period. We've got Oldham tomorrow. In previous seasons, has the festive period of football felt any different compared to the rest of the season? Um, not really. I, I've always loved football around Christmas, you know, because but this season is it's all been coming thick and fast, and that's the, usually the case at Christmas. So we should be acclimatised to that anyway. And you know, we're we're looking forward to the challenges and good teams, well well established and accomplished sides like Oldham and, and Carlisle new experiences for us, new grounds again, and um, you know, big challenges, but you know, we've learned from this side, we're a resilient bunch, and uh, we'll attack it full on. So Oldham, the second top scorers in the league, and their last four games have played against Tranmere, Barrow, Exeter, and Scunthorpe. They've had the same outcomes in those games as what we did when we played those teams. Does that sort of suggest it could be a quite even contest tomorrow? Of Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the stats back that up, suggesting it, it would be a, a tight contest. And I, I look at their their players, and they've got some again another big group of of talented players that um, accomplished at this level. Um, and they play some nice football. You know, they they play four three three and and work it well, and and they keep three at the pitch a lot of the time. So they can hurt you if you're if you do create the spaces for the opposition to score like we did last in, in last weekend's goal that we conceded. We've got to keep nice and tight as a, as a back four and, and limit their, their opportunities to, to hurt us. But we don't go into it with fear, you know, we're, um, we're looking forward to you know, what should be a, a really good game at all. A stat we've found that every time we scored first this season we've gone on to win the game and do well. But when conceding first we've taken just two points from our 11 matches. Can that be explained? Just going up a level. Um, that uh, I think we're, we're, we've proven in those cases when we do go a goal up that we can concentrate and we can defend well in numbers and uh, the recovery runs are good and but we've uh, so we've got to take heart from the positive side of it. The other side, you know, at this level it's it's harder to prize open teams uh, at this level once they've or if we present you know a goal to them, they've got something to defend there um, and we've got to be better at both ends, haven't we? We keep saying. Um, but not that there were, a, you know, there's a massive difference, you know, in these lineups and ours. And we've um, we take out from recent performances, but we're certainly aiming to to fight back in games. I think the fight's there for everyone to see. Just got to add the quality, you know, in that final third. And we've been working on it in training, uh, how to get the the forwards, you know, getting more shots off. And midfielders have to be braver and shoot from distance and drive at the opposition. And so hopefully, you know, we're will evolve into a better team. And finally, it's Christmas Day tomorrow. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, very much so. You know, just uh, um, with uh, Sally and the, and the kids, and um, they, they've gone bananas this morning. <laughs> you know, thinking now it actually is Christmas Eve because we've been building up to this, um, and it's uh, you know the five and seven, so it doesn't get any better.
Well, Merry Christmas, Catherine. Cheers. Best of luck for Saturday. Merry Christmas. Cheers.